are going to Wes in California. Wes asked, I struggle with self-esteem issues. It is to the point where I am afraid to go in public without makeup on or if I am not dressed up. I refuse to attend pool parties or anything where I have to be in a swimsuit. How can I love myself without worrying about what others will think? This is such an important and significant question because I think this question of how do I relate to either what others do think about me or what I perceive others to think about me is one that comes up at different stages of development at young children and, you know, middle school, if we think when we were younger, acceptance was an important thing. And it was easier to gain acceptance, or I should say it was a little bit more clear than, for example, when you get into adolescence, where relationships get a little bit more murky, there is the development of cliques, and there's some exclusion. And then we get into adulthood, where depending on the depending on the context that we're in and the friendships that we have, we might have a sense of clarity on whether we're in, we're an insider or an outsider in a community, but we also might not fully know the rules. And when we don't have clarity on where we stand in a community, it is a lot easier to, to hold ourselves back based on how we perceive others to view us or perceive others to consider or think about us. So what I would say a, a really helpful first step in just starting to explore, Wes, this idea that um, you're, a lot of what you do is governed by the by your perception of what others will think is to just journal or to talk to someone you trust about the idea, who am I separate and apart from others? And this might be a difficult question to answer because we're all relational beings. And it's challenging to think of ourselves as separate from our parents or separate from our siblings or separate from our kids or our significant other. And I'm not suggesting that this is a long-term sort of rugged individualist um, way of being to maintain for, for a long period of time. This is really just a thought experiment. When you consider who the core of who you are as separate and apart from what others might think about that core, what comes up for you? Who are you separate and apart from being an employee? Who are you separate and apart from being a daughter or being a parent? And begin.